Alright, let's get this out of the way. Olimar works 9 to 5, every day, for months on distant planets. He has a loving wife and kids who write him letters every night. He does all the work for his company, the Hulkatate Freight, as he works under the shittiest boss ever. He explores an entirely new world inhabited by strange and terrifying creatures, and braves it all using no superpowers, no power-ups, no weapons, just enough charisma to enslave an entire race and force them to literally throw their lives away in order to reach his goals. Now I'm bringing all this up because I've been hearing things here and there and people think Olimar's pretty strong and pretty busted in Smash Ultimate. And I honestly don't know if he's OP or not, I actually think he's kinda bad. He's floaty and slow and the only thing he really has going for him is his Smash attacks. But what do I know, I fucking suck at this game. If he is OP though, all I can say is... Good. He deserves it. He's the hardest working motherfucker this side of a post-apocalyptic earth, and don't you ever forget it. He ain't need no master sword, he ain't need no mushroom, he don't need to be some big ass turtle, some crocodile. He just need to overwhelm people with his numbers. Which is probably the funnest part about playing Olimar, just hucking Pikmin, man. There is something cathartic about just beating the motherfucker with another motherfucker, and that's all Olimar does. He just throw and throw and throw and smack and throw and watch people struggle to get the Pikmin off. It's just enjoyable. Which, by the way, also proves that Olimar is the strongest character in Smash because he throws purple Pikmin, and purple Pikmin when the throw and cause an earthquake on the ground and the enemy's bodies. And if we go to youtube.com slash gametheory.gov, we can do some quick calculations here and there, and we see that Olimar got the biggest strength number ever. Leave Jiren to Olimar. Now the only reason you know of Olimar feats of strength, or why you would play him at all in this game, is because you play the Pikmin series, or you just really enjoy s internships. And honestly, these little slaves unpaid interns. They're adorable. They just got these cute little noises when they fly towards their inevitable demise. Which you're gonna be hearing a lot, cause god damn do you just send out tons of Pikmin to die. They get the shit beat out of them so easily, it just kind of feels like your entire strategy is to overwhelm your opponent with jobbers. Well, sounds like it's time for another quick wrestling lesson. So a jobber in wrestling is a character who's designed to lose. They're used as a comparison tool of sorts, to upsell the superhuman nature of the superstars, or give them a push into the next big plotline. They get tossed around, beaten, normally in under 5 minutes, and they're given silly names, or just regular people names. Jobbers can be brought in for only a few matches, or known wrestlers can be defaulted to jobbers. See Heath Slater, Dolph Ziggler, or Doink the Clown. And if you main all of them are, you gotta name at least one type of Pikmin. Like, I call the red one Steve, cause... STEVE?! STEVE IS A TROOPER?! OH MY GOD! And the purple ones are Shaniqua. Don't look into that, that doesn't mean anything, it's not about race or anything, I just I just came up with it as a child, it means nothing to me, it's, you know, the purple ones are kind of thick milkshakes, man, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm really glad that they went out of their way to make the Pikmin as accurate to the game as possible, by making sure they don't work! The Pikmin have always been broken in every single Smash game, it's like they just don't want to listen to you! What are you doing? You are right there! Jump into my hand so that I may yeet you out of existence! I get that they're basically newborn children, but goddamn is their reaction time slow. At least they're good at body blocking projectiles. <laughs> yes, burn, suffer, extinguish your life force, die for my sins so I may prosper. <laughs> Does Olimar give one eighth of a shit about his Pikmin? Whenever they die, he doesn't look sad, he just kinda looks annoyed because he has to regrow all of his outsourced labor. Actually, it's probably because Olimar just hates them. He's just tired of their stupid shenanigans and doesn't care what happens to him. And you know what? I agree with him. Fuck the Pikmin. Olimar don't need them. He can take care of business himself. Be gone, heathens. I cast thee aside. I can handle this lightweight myself. I am the ultimate life form. <laughs> you fool! Behold the power of my impervious headbutt attack! work at all. Olimar fucking sucks.